Let's move on to testing and implementation. Now I would like to refer back to this high level architecture of the project before I start. I'm going to start with the API, which is the controller layer. Here we need a resource controller class to handle the incoming HTTP requests, which I would call comment controller. So let's start with that. The comment controller would handle the get, post, and delete requests for these URLs. In order to serve this get request, the controller should return a list of comment resources. So we can write a test for this behavior. What I'm going to do here is test first development. So that means before writing any implementation code, I'm going to write a test. I don't have any thing in the src main java folder source folder and uh, there's the src test java folder and i'm going to create a new junit test in it right click on that and select new other and then in here there's a java folder expand that and under that there's a junit folder and in there there's a JUnit test case. I'm going to select that and click next. And then in here, the new JUnit 4 test has already been selected for us and the source folder is correct. And then the package, I'm going to place this test in a package called com dot command dot controller. So the name of this test, since I'm writing this test to test the comment controller, I will name this test class comment controller test. So basically this is the name of the class under test and I just add test at the end. I want the setup method to be generated by Eclipse, that would be easy. So we don't have a class under test yet, so I don't need to add anything there. And I'll click finish. So here's the test class generated by Eclipse and there's a setup method and then there's a sample test. So I'm going to remove this line. So the very first test that I'm going to write in this comment controller test is to test whether the comment controller would return a list of comments for us. So this is how I'm going to name my tests. Um, of course, test and then name of the method under test which would be get comments by post id and then the expected result returns a list of comments i'll start with an assert there's actual and there's matter so for the actual i need to provide the return value of the actual method call so what i'm going to do here is um, create an object here for the actual method call comment controller and the method is get comments by post id and of course we need to pass in a post id so so i'll pass in one here so if this is a list of comments we should be able to check whether it's empty so uh, on this i'll call is empty method and this method is is a ham crest matcher so i'll need to import that i'll add a static import here and I'm going to import all the matches. And now this comment controller object, we have to create it. Place the cursor there, command one or control one, which bring up this pop-up with all the suggestions. Uh, so what I want to do is create a local variable. And this local variable should be of type comment controller. Now I have to create this comment controller class. So create class comment controller and this new class should be placed in the src main 
Java source folder. So I have to change that from test to main. And then the package is com.command.controller. That's fine. So everything else looks good. Click finish. Now that's been created. And so there should be this method in that class as well. Make Eclipse generate that one for me as well. Create method. Get comments by post ID. So that has been created. So there's a compiler error on this is empty method because we're not returning a list. So I'll make this return a list. And this list should be of type comment. And we haven't created this comment type. So I'll need to create that one as well. Not import, but to create class comment. So the source folder is fine and all good. Click finish. So that has been created. And then we need to initialize this object. So now all the compiler errors are gone. I'll just quickly run this test to see how it goes. So there's a null pointer exception because we're returning null here. So to quickly get the green light, um, I'm going to return a list from here. Iris dot as list. Now here I can provide as many objects as I want. So I'm passing in a couple of comment objects and converting it to a list to return. And now if I run this test, it should pass. So this test is passing. So I'm going to write another test to test if this method returns the list of comments which uh, all have the same post ID as the one that we pass into the method. I'm going to copy this first part of the test method declaration. So the next part of the method name is all comments belong to the same post. And again, I'm going to start with an assert. So for the actual method call, we're going to need this object. So what I'm going to do here is instead of duplicating this inside of this method, I'm going to make this a field and then initialize it in the setup method so that it can be used in all of the tests. So comment controller dot get comments by post ID and I'm passing in one as the post ID. And for the matcher, I'm going to use every item matcher from the Hamcrest matches, which analyzes each and every item of the list. And inside of here, I want to check whether it has the property post ID and then compare it with the value that we pass in. So has property should do. So the name should be a string, post ID, and then value is one. And I will extract this into a local variable. Now I'm all ready to run these tests. Ideally it should fail because we haven't done anything in the implementation yet. So first one still passes and the second one is an assertion error expected every item is um, has property post ID is one but it doesn't have the property no property post ID. So what we're going to do now is so I'm going to move this into a different package because this is not a controller. This is more of an entity so I'll move this into an entity package. 
and now I'm going to add this property post ID in here so the post ID should be an integer and I'm going to generate getters and setters for this okay and then run the test again again it should fail because the post ID was zero so now we have to pass in a list of comments for the comment controller to sort through and send us back in this method and how I'm going to do this is to pass in the list of comments when creating the comment controller object I'll just create the list over here first and then I'm going to create this constructor in the comment controller class so create constructor so I'm going to create a field instead of this list that we created on the fly I'm going to return this one then I'm going to add some comment objects to this list and also I want to pass in a post ID whenever this comment is created so I'll just pass in one and create that construct inside of the comment class so all that's done I'll duplicate this and now we have two three again one again two so we have a few comments and we'll run this again just to make sure it still gives the assertion error every item has property post id one but an item property post id was two so instead of filtering it it's just returning everything so I'm going to use a stream to filter so post ID should be equal to the post ID parameter and then click this to a list so I'll run this test again and now both tests are passing I want this method to throw an exception if the post ID is invalid so this method name has three parts to it instead of the two um, that we saw earlier this is the, the method under test and this is the expected outcome and this is the condition expected exception so what i'm expecting this to throw is an invalid parameter exception so now i'm going to create this exception class and it should be in the main folder package uh, com dot comment dot exception and then i want it to extend from the runtime exception and to click finish so now I have this uh, exception class created I can go ahead with the method call just copy from over there and I want to pass in an invalid post ID which I say is minus one I'll just add a comment here just to say what is a valid post ID so any positive integer is considered a valid post ID integer let's say greater than zero so I want to check both minus one and zero. So I'll run all of the tests. So except expected exception is not thrown. And I'm going to add the validation here. So I have a typo in the name of the exception class. So I'm going to correct that right now. 
And so that's done. Let's run this again. So we have three passing tests. Now I want to check if this method returns all of the comments that belong to the post ID. So for example, I have one and two comments with post ID one, and then I'm going to add another one and maybe another one here. So there's one, two, three, four, four comments with post ID set to one. So I'm going to test that one as well. So I'm just going to copy this test over here and I want to check the size of the list and it should be four. So this returns all the comments that belong to the same post. And then again, I want this to return an empty list when there is no comment with the given post ID. So again, I can copy this one. Empty list when no comments for the post. So say hundred. So in, in this case, is empty should be true. This should pass without any change in the implementation. So now that I have the basic requirements covered for the controller, I'm going to look inside the controller class. It comments by post ID method and see if it needs any refactoring. So of course I can see that there is a bit of uh, business logic happening in here, which is filtering.